Welcome to today's OG group. Today we'll be focusing on the sound Y baby E. So we're going to learn some words that have Y at the end and why they say E. I'm going to go ahead and move the camera onto the desk. And here we go. So when you see Y at the end of a word, it's followed by a consonant and it's an open syllable. The Y will say E as in baby. So I have a sentence that we're going to read and we're gonna show you that. The sentence says, do not give the baby a candy bunny. I've already underlined all the Y's. Does this, is, is this an open syllable word? Yes. Are they followed by consonants? Yes. And does it come at the end of the word? Yes. I guess I also want to add that it, should, it is a two-syllable word. So I've done two examples for us, and then we're going to do our game, our riddle game. So I have the word baby cozy. So you hear the E in baby and the E in cozy. Let's do the word tiny. Tiny. T. I, N, E. Even though it sounds like an E, it's a Y because it's an open syllable, two syllable word, followed by a consonant, and it's at the end of the word. Let's try the word, well, another name for a horse, do a riddle, is a pony. P, O, N, E. Pony. We'll do a few more. Let's do the word. Ooh, I hope you're not feeling this way today. When you just don't feel like doing anything and you sit on the couch all day, you might be having something called a lazy day. A lazy day. We'll do two more being that I already I gave you two. Let's do the word. Um, do I love to sit under a tree? when it's um, really hot outside. Begins with a digraph, shh, shh. I love to sit under a shh, shay, shady tree. And one more word, um, a woman isn't always called a woman. Sometimes they can be called a lady, a lady. Let's read those words together. We have the word baby, cozy, tiny, pony, lazy, shady, lady. Very good. I'm going to give you two um, objects to think about. This is a stuffed, can you see him? Puppy. That's Mutsy. Oh, Mutsy has a Y in his name, too. So a puppy whose name is Mutsy has the E that says a Y at the end. And then I also found a pony. A pony. All right. We're going to take our sandboards or whatever material you're using. And we're going to divide the board into four parts like we did yesterday. Four parts. So, the first Y sound we have, let me turn my page. The first Y sound we have is the consonant Y, as in Y, yellow, Y. Yeah. So we're just going to make a Y there. Okay, where are we underline there? The next sound we have is the Y, that's a long E as in baby. So to make it a long vowel, you put a straight line above it, and that is the long E as in baby. The next Y we have is actually a short I, a, sh a, I mean a long I, it looks like a T, a long I as in cry. And we're going to talk about why that's a, the long I in a second. And then we also have a short I when it's a Y as in gym. 
So what I'm basically saying is why I can say ya, why I can say e, why I can say I, or why I can say i. One more time. Y says ya, Y says e, Y says I, and Y says i. So let's give a couple examples. This part you don't need to write. But I'm just going to show you a few examples. So when I think of a Y that says its name, ya, yeah, I can write the word yes. Another example would be the word yell. Those both say ya. Yeah. When I think of the long E sound, those were the examples I did earlier, like lady or slimy. The Y comes at the end of the word. It's a two-syllable word. When Y is a short or a long I, look at the difference here. It's in the words like cry. There's a Y, but it says I. It's in the words like fly. I notice one difference between these words. This is a one-syllable word, and it says I. This is a two-syllable word, and it says E. And then the next example would be the I, I, as in we go to gym class, or in music class we play a cymbal. So these are great examples of what says ya, E, I, I. Let's read them. Yes. Yell, lady, slimy, cry, fly, gym, symbol. Again, why I can say ya, e, i, or i. Today we're focusing on e. We have three spelling words this week. Three that have the y at the end. The first spelling word I want to do is the word study. Let's pound it out. Study. St -a -d -e. Study. Let's go ahead and write it. S-t-a-d-e. Study. I hope that you study for the test. Number two is the word Hungry. Ha, a, n, g, r, e. Hungry. Ha, a, n, g, r, e. Hungry. And the last word I want to do is the word candy. Candy. Ka, a, n, d, e. Candy. Ka, a, n, d, e, candy. All right, moving right along. Let's go ahead and move to our sentence for the day. This is a pretty long sentence. It's the frisky puppy did not yet jump up on the pony. Oh my goodness, 11 lines. The frisky puppy. I'm going to change it a little bit shorter. Did, let's do 10 lines. The frisky puppy did not jump up on the pony. So 10 lines. Again, the sentence is the frisky puppy did not jump up on the pony. Let's write our first letters. The frisky Puppy did not jump up on the, oops, on the pony. The frisky puppy did not jump up on the pony. Let's go ahead and write that. The word the is a sight word we know. Frisky. Er, I, why? The frisky puppy.
P. Oh, I hear two P's in there. P. Uh. P. P. E. Y. The frisky puppy did tap out. Did duh I, duh not m a t jump four letters j a m p. The frisky puppy did not jump up p, up a m on the and then another um, y word at the end pony p. O N E. Let's read it to make sure it makes sense. The frisky puppy did not jump up on the pony. I need a period at the end of my sentence. I can do my cups. I have a capital letter. My sentence makes sense. I have perfect punctuation. My spelling is correct. I have everything I need. So now I know I can go ahead and really carefully rewrite that sentence neatly. The frisky puppy did not jump up on the pony. Please read that sentence with me one more time. The frisky puppy did not jump up on the pony. One more time. The frisky puppy did not jump up on the pony. We have a capital letter. My sentence makes sense. We have an ending mark and my spelling is correct. So let's review real quickly what we did today. We went ahead today and we read a silly sentence. Then we went ahead and we made up some words that have the Y. That was our focus for today. Y, baby, E. Y, baby, E. Then we went ahead and showed you an object of a puppy and a pony. We wrote our spelling words and then we wrote a dictation sentence. I hope when you see two syllable words that follow a consonant that are open syllable and at the end of a word, remember that the Y says E. Thank you so much for joining me today in OG. I hope you enjoyed our lesson. Have a great day.